our idea was to to track the golf swing in real time and to be able to administer an electrical impulse the moment you okay. made an error in your swing and what okay. is an error? that's what you choose yourself or with a coach in the app Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of All the Smart Things, a video series from IoT for All, the number one publication resource for the Internet of Things industry. Um, this series is focused on consumer IoT products, and the idea is to talk to founders and creators of these products, learn kind of behind the scenes story of how they came to be, the uh, process for bringing it to market, a lot of things that can also be transferred over um, to the enterprise and commercial space, which we cover more often, just to understand what it is like and what it takes to bring a smart product, regardless of who the end user is, to market. Um, and on today's episode, we have Marcus Westerberg, the co-founder of DeWiz Golf. Um, this is a company that has built a very revolutionary product, helping golfers know the exact position of their hands throughout the swing. They use um, kind of a 3D analysis to deliver data to, a, to an app directly on your phone, um, captured all by this fantastic little watch-like device, um, whereas right on your wrist, it has some sensors on the back that kind of allow you to not only allow you to tr track the path of the hands and the arm, um, but also to um, give you some, some, some stimulus if you are doing it correctly or not correctly. So um, it's something that a lot of top tour professionals are using. Um, very cool product per, for me personally. It was exciting to kind of review. I'm being, being a big golfer myself. So, um, so in this conversation, Marcus and I talk a lot about the kind of creation of the product, the um, the testing period they went through, and kind of how they got to this version of it, future plans, kind of behind the scenes look at it all. So, um, very very interesting stuff. If you're interested in golf, I think you definitely get a lot of value out of this conversation. If you're not you're just learning about what it takes to build a physical product that connects to the the phone. Um, is super interesting. So I think you'll, you'll find, um, find this one a good one. Um, but if you're watching this on YouTube, we do appreciate it if you would like the video and subscribe to our channel if you're not already done so. But um, other than that, please enjoy this episode of All the Smart Things with Marcus Westerberg of DeWiz Golf. Welcome, Marcus. Thanks for being here today. Thanks so much. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to this conversation. Uh, ever since you, you sent us the product, we've been um, playing with it a ton. And um, so I'm really excited to have you on and talk more about kind of the, the story behind it, behind the scenes, kind of look at it. Um, but I wanted to have you quickly introduce yourself just for our audience's uh, perspective and talk a little bit about the company and what you're all focused on. Right. So my name is Marcus Westerberg. I'm the co-founder of The Wiz Golf. And my background is as a golf professional, touring professional, a teaching professional, and also into psychology, where I got my major uh, from Lund here in Sweden. And that connects perfectly with the WIS, because the WIS is a wearable tech that was made to help golfers improve faster, because learning the golf swing is, is really complex. And me and my co-founder wanted to, to help that. Fantastic. So tell us a little bit about after you kind of addressed the problem that you were looking to solve, uh, obviously we, you know, being a golfer myself, the, the swing is a very complex, um, thing that you just kind of mentioned. And there are a lot of moving pieces to it, a lot of different, different elements of it. Tell us just at a high level, how the product works and what it does and why it's, you know, different than kind of other things out there. Um, and then also if you wouldn't mind just kind of shedding light on some of the technology behind it. Yeah, so the reason we invented the WIS was because, well, as everyone knows, it's hard to change a golf swing. And my sure. co-founders uh, had a, this classical over-the-top downswing coming across the ball, hitting a slice, yep. and we wanted to find a way to fix that. So initially, we wanted to, uh, he told me, just make it so painful when I do the wrong move that I'll never want to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what the Wiz is today, but that was the embryo of the Wiz. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Our idea was to to track the golf swing in real time and to be able to administer an electrical impulse the moment you okay. made an error in your swing. And what okay. is an error? That's what you choose yourself or with a coach in the app. Okay, so that's this part here of the product that's able to send that electrical pulse to indicate length of swing, tempo, whatever it is that you're, you're testing, correct? Correct. So, so the interesting part here is, is when we met with our tech company, because we said, okay, we want to do this. We want to track the swing in real time. and We want a really accurate plus minus one centimeter okay. read. 
Uh, we want to be able to administer the feedback within 10 milliseconds because it's all about reaching into the subconscious sure. parts of your brain to be able to help help change the, the, the muscle memory, so to speak, and the street right. terms. So we sat down with a tech company and they said, it can't be done. You cannot, you cannot do this. You cannot use normal uh, sensors uh, right. uh, that can be this small to be able to track a golf swing in real time because sensors drift. Mm. If you think about sensors, they drift. So, so that was the initial problem. And, and we had some money. We got some investors in, in, in 3D early. And we said, okay, we get three weeks. That's how they work. Go back on your rooms and talk to everybody and see what you can do when they come back after three weeks. And they say, no, it's, uh, it's impossible. We say, okay, we still have some money. Do it again. And then they talked to the biggest brains in the business. And they said, no, that, that cannot be done. But they said, okay, we have an idea. And that idea now has, yeah, the rest is history, so to speak. And, and uh, it was a fantastic journey from, from impossible to where we are today. Yeah, I think it's interesting because the accuracy component of it is a consistent challenge in IoT in general, especially on the commercial and enterprise side when it comes to accuracy of tracking things and so forth. So what was it that, and, and you don't have to give away any secret sauce here, but just what was it about um, the technology side that you were able to kind of go figure out how to get this more accurate? I know obviously it pairs and syncs with a smartphone, so you know you can track everything and see everything there, do the settings and so forth. But what was it that kind of got you over that hump of, um, you know, these, these, this company saying, oh, it's impossible, it's impossible, but then eventually figuring it out? Basically, very good engineers writing the right algorithms and a lot of testing because the gotcha. hard work is nothing special. So it's just that, that hard work, that hard grind, really trying to find the, 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 uh, the, the, the connected solutions into the algorithm uh, that's, that's basically it. And we started with them in late 2016 and we went to market 2021. So wow. it's been a long road. So who, when, when we're talking about golfers, um, my, my guess is this is kind of built for everyone. I mean, I, I play golf a ton. Um, I like to think that I'm pretty good and I found a lot of value out of it. But I, I'm curious, is this for a certain type of golfer, a certain problem that they solve or that they have? Or is it pretty much there's enough features and functionality inside that it kind of can work and help everybody if they're willing to put the time into it? Yeah, so the WES 1.0 is to help golfers hit the ball longer, straighter, and closer, okay. and, and okay. I will explain that because because yeah, you see now hitting the ball longer, you need to get your club head speed up, and you can do sure. that easily in two ways. If you make your backswing longer, your club head speed will inc increase, and you can also make your swing faster, and your club head speed will increase. Let's take an example like Tony Finau and John Rahm: very short swings, very fast swings. But even if Finau makes it longer, as we've seen on YouTube. His club and speed goes way up. Now he keeps it short to control it, but I haven't met a golfer yet who doesn't want to hit the ball farther. So that's one component of the WIS. Very simple to use. I have a lot of elderly people in my club. I just set them up with the WIS. They listen to the feedback they get from their length of backswing in centimeters mm. or inches, and you just keep making that longer. And we can see the club and speed go up like. An elderly gentleman here, 73 years of age, he went from 79 miles per hour club speed to 91 in a very short wow. time just wow. by making his backswing longer. So that's that's one component. So to answer your question, yes, it's, it is for everyone because we've done some recently some intricate sessions with Henrik Stenson here in Sweden, working on his swing and finding those key features to help him refine his, his details, who is a great ball striker, as everyone knows. Mm. But you can see like, okay, that swing was not what I wanted. You can right. see the data. Okay, we can see it in the data. This is what we're looking for in the data. And then, of course, we try to help people hit the ball straighter, mainly right. the slicers coming over the top. We're looking at the transition. How mm. is the downswing plane compared to the backswing plane, which sets a lot of groundwork for the path, as we know, controls the curvature right. of the ball. Right, right, right. right. Fantastic. The last, the last yeah, yeah, the last, sorry, the last component closer is just about, again, if you can control your length of backswing, you can control your distance wedges, which is a, is a great component for anyone's game. Absolutely. Yeah, it, it was super interesting um, to see a smart product built for for golf. Um, there are ob obviously other products out there that do connect to your phone, but they don't go into... They're not really, from my experience, not so much as a direct teaching aid to 
from when it comes to the swing. Like there's ways for you to track distances with clubs and 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 things like that, but not necessarily a lot of devices out there that are going to actually enable you to improve your game. Can you talk a little bit about how this really compares to what else is on the market? It's difficult because what, what we get the feedback from our users is they, they love the Wiz as a tool to compare their game on the driving range to the golf course because the Wiz right. is very simple to take to the golf course. Of right. course, <clears throat> for competition, you need to use another mode that we are developing. But right okay. now, in practice, you can easily compare your swings to the, from the driving range to the golf course, which is a huge difference. And how does the Wiz compare to other... Uh, uh, it's hard to say because I think we're working a bit differently. There's a one, one-stop shop. There's one thing for all your clubs, all your swings. You don't have to change units between clubs or have m multiple units. So, and right. of course, we have the feedback, which which uh, was the groundwork for for the West just being able to help golfers improve faster. And thanks to this process that I told you about, it can't be done and all that. We needed to be very accurate, and thanks to this accuracy, we're now able to to extrapolate a lot of interesting data points from the web. Yeah, yeah, the data points is super interesting. Um, are are there is there anything that you've seen on the data side? Because obviously that's a huge part of IoT. From you know that's important for our audience to understand. But what is it that you've been able to learn from the access to the data that you know you weren't able to kind of understand before? Well, some very interesting points, just comparing the ones who play really good golf, the professionals, to the club golfers. Professionals swing way faster. We have a <laughs> measure called start to impact, which means we start the time sure. from when you take the club back to when you hit the ball. That's the start to impact time. Now, most professionals are under one second. Let's say Hendrik, he's 0.85. Uh, Annika Sernstam is, is 0.9. And a non normal club golfer is 1.3, 1.4 seconds. So they're way slower. Even though looking at the professionals on TV, they are so rhythmous. And that's when we're looking at the ratio between backswing and, and downswing. And sure. that ratio is, is three to one, which is called a tour tempo, or lower at the professional side, way higher on the club golfers. Gotcha. And I always like to tell a story about Bryson DeChambeau, another one of our, our ambassadors. He's got a really, really long backswing when it goes for his power drive, over two meters. That's 80 inches plus. And he's back at the ball in 0.8 seconds. Sure. Normal club golfer backswing is about 130, 140 centimeters. Wow. Uh, so it's a huge difference. So, wow. so professional swing longer, faster, and in better rhythm. Fantastic. And I would love it if you could share, you talked earlier about kind of the challenges you came across early on trying to bring this product to market. What advice do you have for people out there who are also looking to build a smart product? Not necessarily a golf smart product, but a smart product in general. Anytime they're thinking, maybe even on the wearable side, a wearable device with smart technology inside. Is there any kind of learnings or advice you would give them just as, as they kind of get involved in their journey? Oh, lots. Let's see what I have at the top of my head. First of all, grit. It's going to take a longer time than you think. Just keep on grinding. Be picky. Uh, I am <laughs> I'm a bastard with our developers because I put a lot of pressure on them because I'm I'm very picky because I want the numbers that come out of this to be right. correct. And we use right. a motion capture system camera, uh, system, motion capture system to compare uh, the data so we know that our data is correct. Sure. And, and, and find the right developers. Okay. Uh, find it. We have been very lucky to find really smart people uh, and we've been picky with everything around this this project. We also had everyone sign an NDA until okay. the launch, so we kept everything under wraps. Every single person who touched the project, they, they signed an NDA. So we've been we've been very picky about that. So so, so um, meticulous, grit, and the right people. Fantastic. So, the, and and the last one, the last question I have before we wrap up here is, where does this go? Like, what is the evolution of a product like this? You talked about version 1.0, um, focused more on 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 kind of the the distance side of things. What what does this look like as you evolve the product? And again, you don't have to give away any secrets, but just what does a device like this kind of grow into to become even more valuable than it already is for a golfer? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's a lot of very interesting things going on. But what we're doing right now is, is we're migrating the app and the user experience into one okay. more simple side that we can simplify 
for, for the regular golfer and for the nerds and the professionals and then the, the, the more interested guys, we're making it more advanced. So we're, we're taking wow, two okay. simplified and more advanced. That's where we're going in the near Fantastic. future. Fantastic. And for audience out there who's interested in learning more about the product and where to potentially purchase it, how can they go about that and where to do that? Thewisgolf.com. Uh, that's where you, you can you can purchase your product. You can look at a lot of instructional videos, see what yeah. our ambassadors say, and follow us on social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. And we're going to TikTok soon. And you've got some, a lot of content there where you can learn more about the WIS and what they can do for your game. Fantastic. So you mentioned... Uh... Annika, you mentioned Henrik, and you mentioned Bryson. Who are the, what other pros are involved, if any? Just out of curiosity. VJ Singh was our first okay. ambassador, and oh, wow. we have, uh, a former U.S. Women's Open champion Yuka Sasso uh, on our team. And very cool. We have uh, Golf Channel's Martin Hall. Uh, okay. Professor of golf is is very intrigued with the West, and we had some fantastic conversation, and he helps the team a lot too. That's awesome. Well, uh, well, Marcus, thank you so much for taking the time. And I really appreciate it. The, the product's fantastic. Um, I, I really love hearing the story behind any kind of consumer facing smart product and how you brought it to market, the challenges you, you went through um, and kind of what the future looks like, because um, the more smart technology we have out there, the better. So, so thanks again. Thanks so much, Ryan. Appreciate it. All right, everyone. Thanks again for watching that episode of All the Smart Things with DeWiz Golf's co-founder, Marcus Westerberg. If you're interested in learning more about the product itself, you can go to DeWizGolf.com, D-E-W-I-Z-G-O-L-F.com to learn more, figure out. Um, you can also buy the product there as well if you're interested. Um, but yeah, all in all, I really appreciate you kind of taking the time to watch this. Um, if you have any interest in other products being reviewed or, or discussed kind of in this level of detail, please feel free to leave it in the comments. Let us know what, what products you'd like us to kind of reach out and, and check. Or if you have a product yourself, you're associated with a company that has a product that could fit this series, please feel free to reach out to me at ryan at iotforall.com. We'd love to talk more about having um, a guest, one of the creators of the product on the show to just share with our audience more of the behind the scenes look at what it takes to bring these awesome products to market. But other than that, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.